So today we want to talk about how to get your dog to walk on a leash really nicely. Now Maya is a crazy dog with a lot of drive and she usually doesn't walk well on a leash unless it's in a competition or in a, in a focus type healing. So we're going to talk about that and your dog probably won't have as much drive as she has but let's just talk about it. So most people will take and start walking their dog and start pulling them along and then the dog will pull them and then they'll pull back and will pull again. And the dog, although kind of acquiescing to what I want, doesn't really do what I want on her own. So she's always waiting for me to do this. I'm always giving her pressure on the leash in order to get her to come along. So I'm just going to walk a little bit and you'll see, see how she's getting crazy with the leash? So now I've got a conflict with her where I've got to get her to let go of the leash. Hey, let go. Ouch. And I'm trying to walk and she's in this crazy drive now. So that's not what I want my walk to look like with her. So to start with, we don't want to start her on a short leash. We want to start with what we call a long line. So this is an old, old long line. Obviously had a lot of use. And we're going to start Maya on this. So what we're going to do is, this can be done on a regular choke chain. It can be done on the Martingale, which we'll talk about in a minute. And all we're going to do is unhook this house good and we're not going to use that and all I'm going to do is give Maya all the room she wants here house and walk and she can carry this and do whatever because I'm not going to fight her on it and once it becomes uninteresting yes good girl Maya I'm going to give her a treat so basic lawn line work is just letting her be at the end of this leash, wherever that might be. And I'm going to do this for a long period of time. And when she gets to the end of the leash, I give her a gentle correction. I turn. I give her all this freedom. I bought her a 15 foot leash. I'm going to let her use the 15 foot leash. And when I turn and she doesn't come, there she comes. Good girl. Good girl. And then I turn, and she goes that way, I go the other way. Right? She goes that way, I go this way. But I don't say anything at this point. I'm just disappearing from her sight. So if I want to go, I go. And if she gets checked out and starts going in another direction, which she will here, as she gets excited to go this way, I'm going to start to take away a little bit of the long line and I'm going to start to turn sooner. And as I turn, she's starting to pay more and more attention to me, as you can see now, because I've given her the end of the leash. I'm not forcing her. When I, when I move, she moves. And by not engaging her when she's trying to bite on this, it becomes uninteresting. If I just give that to her, there's no game now. So when she lets go of that, good girl, she's got a reward. But, yes, but if I let her grab this here, and I'm gonna set her up for failure here, and I'm gonna let her bite this, and I'm gonna say, no, no. Now she let go, but more than likely, she's gonna start re-engaging this toy, and I'm fighting her now. So for me to get her to let go here doesn't make sense. But if I just give it to her, it's uninteresting. I'm not going to tug with her. She lets go. Yes. And she gets paid for letting go. So now I've got her at the end of, let's say, a, a 15 foot leash. So what I'll do from here is I'll come down maybe three feet and work with her at the end of, let's say, five feet, the end of a 10 foot leash. And I'll do the exact same thing. I'll take off. And when she gets near, I disappear, she goes there, I make 180s, I make another 180, and the more I disappear from my dog and occasionally give her a pop on the leash, the more interesting I become because she's next to me. And I can walk and walk and walk, and if I stop, she stops. I'll pay her for that. A quick note on giving your dog treats. You'll notice a lot of people 
when they give their dogs treats, they take the treat from here and they give the dog the treat here. And you see what that does with the dog. It makes her do what? Here you go. It makes her get in front of me. So now if I try to walk, I'm having to push her out of the way with my knees. Instead, you can have your treats on the right side, but when you pay your dog, pay them from the left, which keeps her in this position. It keeps her to the left. Good. Now, in some styles of obedience training, they'll actually lure the dog to stay on this side by using a treat in the hand. So I'm gonna cup the treat in the hand this way, and it's about a, a one inch piece of jerky. I'm gonna cup it here, and I'm gonna let her nibble it. You can see she's nibbling it here. And I'm gonna just start walking. And that puts her in a really nice position to stay right next to me. And as long as I cup my hand this way, she can just nibble, 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 right? She nibbles, I take it away. She nibbles, I take it away. She nibbles, I walk, right? And I keep her right next to me. And I stop, she stops. Remember, this hand always stays attached to your hip. If you start doing this, she's gonna start walking there. Good girl. So now you can see, in a matter of just a few minutes, we got her walking next to us with a long line and now with a treat. So here, she's gonna keep walking, walking, walking. I stop, she stops, I walk, she walks. Good girl, that's a good girl.